Welcome to the Drummond Channel. It's October 25th for me still in Hawaii and uh, uh, gonna update the NASDAQ. And this all came about because of speaking to one of the Drummond community members on the phone today. We're looking at some charts and uh, we were looking at the NASDAQ and uh, I was talking about hidden market structure. And you know, you may have heard that a time or two before. So the hidden market structure that we make available, we make visible with drum and geometry tools and the software. And, and that's what got us started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this long-term look at the NASDAQ, where is it at? And uh, should we, you know, what's on our chart that most people aren't seeing? And so with that, let's get started. So we've started with the, the yearly chart over here on the left. And if you're not familiar with this in TradeStation, we have to, as Ted says, hijack the data and we have to create our own time axis down there. So this one down here at the bottom is not valid. Same thing with the quarterly chart here in the middle and uh, the, the, the axis is down here. So when we're looking at the yearly, you know, no, no big secret here. Yearly has been screaming higher until last year. And this big C wave up, exhausted all the way down here below the PL dot. And now this year we've been down to the envelope bottom pushed up towards the envelope top, and, and now we're, we're, we're above the PL dot. Yearly PL dots are still moving up, but they've started to swing. So at this point, uh, yearly energy is still pushing higher. PL dot supporting the price right now. And uh, this might be nothing more than last year was a PL dot refresh, and we're gonna see yearly PL dot energy start to push back up. Now, moving over into the middle here on the quarterly chart, uh, we've uh, established a trend. A trend is three closes on one side of the PL dot. So those are three closes. So the quarterly trend is up, the PL dots are pushing up, and we, we uh, moved back towards the envelope bottom last quarter, or I'm sorry, envelope top, and now we moved inside the envelope and it seems to be a quarterly PL dot refresh. So yearly PL dot refresh, or yearly PL dot energy, quarterly PL dot energy. And now let's take a look at the monthly and see what other information we get from that. On the monthly chart, uh, last month was a congestion entrance bar and we start to look for congestion where two to three dots back. So that would be an area in this area where we've broken through that a little bit, but it's, uh, it's, it's, it's hovering in that area. And also, let me get rid of this. We're sitting on top of the, we're flirting with the, the quarterly peel dot, and that's the monthly one one low. So with monthly congestion action trade congestion, we have three types of possi or three possibilities. We have congestion action, where the market moves in congestion for a while. It can also be a trend uh, reversal, and this thing is headed south or a trend continuation. And we look at the lower time periods that start showing us the way and what, what's taking place. But at this point, with the yearly, the quarterly, and the monthly, uh, we've stumbled on some support area today. Now the weekly here on the left, you can see today, uh, this week, market's uh, down in this area. And, and what's a possible area or possible indications of lower time period for the monthly? the weekly and the daily, showing some ideas of support building or is it breaking? And uh, this week we've broken through this area and now it, we've recovered it. So I don't know if it's starting, it's, it, may be, it may be showing early signs of building support. The, um, the other thing to check or to pay attention to on the, on the weekly, there's a 5-1, I'm sorry, 5-2 up in this area. And uh, that's again holding. So we'll see how that goes. Now we move over here to the right to the daily, and this is this is roughly our area of all that higher time period support. It's a big area. It's a big area. But the uh, the idea though is is we have multiple multiple time frames all pointing that this might be a, a spot to pay attention to, and this is the kind of market structure that people don't see unless they're drum and traders, and uh, when. When a move like today's happens, people can get a little bit on the uh, 
on the fearful side and start to think that the, uh, you know, the end is near. But uh, Drummond Trader knows that this may not be the end at all. It might be a very good opportunity. And of course, I'm not saying buy. I'm saying let's watch these lower time periods and see what information, what, what are the Drummond tools are telling us. Okay. So for today, for, for Thursday, this is the farther out support area. That, that's holding so far. And uh, again, we, we're, we're, we're touching down into this, this rectangle here, which is our support area from all those multiple time frames. The PL dots are decisively down. Trend down is accelerating. Uh, so right now the daily trend still looks pretty solidly down. And what we can expect tomorrow, we can give you a couple of targets and see how that works out. And if, again, if those, those, uh, those lows, those target area lows hold, that's what we expect to happen. Maybe that support is starting to build and we'll, we'll pay attention to that. So for tomorrow, uh, thing I wanted to point out, there's a 5-2 up. And there's a 5-1 up. And that's all taking place not too far away from the 1-1 one, one low tomorrow. So th this is, you know, target area one for a low. That should hold. If this holds, if this nearby support area holds, then we can, we can maybe call this an exhaust and we can, we're looking at a PL dot refresh or maybe higher. And the upside target, you have the envelope bottom and the 1-1 one, one low and also Next thing up is the daily peel dot. And if stuff gets really, really freaky tomorrow, there's the weekly, or weekly, em uh, uh, weekly envelope bottom and daily envelope top. So I hope you can see how all these different time frames start to come together and show us a very different picture of what other people might be seeing. And again, that's the hidden market structure that we like to talk about and making that visible. So, you know, the, the yearly information is on there all year, the quarterly, all quarter, you get the drill. So we're looking at stuff from a long way away and looking at, at where this market is right now, I'm scratching my head thinking it's worth paying attention to that uh, this, this downside trajectory might be finished and uh, some of this quarterly and yearly PL dot energy might start pushing higher. So that's it for tonight. I uh, hope everything's uh, as good as it gets. I hope you're, you're on the right side of the trade. Uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching.